Yo, yo, what's up design lifers? Welcome back to my car. And in this video topic, it's not gonna be talking about industrial design. So you guys can go ahead and click away if that's all you wanna see, okay? But this is regarding how to be a successful industrial designer. And that's what I promote here on this YouTube channel. So what that means is obviously you can be the best industrial designer, right? That's a that's a good you know goal to aim for, but a successful industrial designer is one that is a great industrial designer, but he or she also has other aspects of their life in check as well. That being your health, that being your relationships, your family, and also your finances. So that's what I wanna talk about with you guys today. I'm really big into finances. It's been something that I've been hitting it hard studying ever since I graduated school. And I wanna share with you guys the things that I've learned and it's blowing my mind because before I used to be kinda of a little stressed out. I was never really bad with money. Um, I always had money saved up because I've always just kinda of been a saver. But I was never confident with money and the reason is because I just never really understood it or how it worked. And so if I share with you guys today, if you're early, if you are young, you are gonna be way ahead of me when you finally reach my age. And so if you are, you know, early 20s, hear me out, just hear me out and take what I'm saying to heart, okay? All right, so most of my viewers, you guys watching, are probably very young, okay? You're probably just entering in through design school, through college. Some of you guys are really young in high school and stuff like that, so I'm super impressed. Um, and all some of you guys are maybe going through school currently and you got a couple years left until you graduate, okay? What I wanna say is if you are borrowing money to go to school, try to borrow only as much as you need, okay? And also try to work as much as possible through the summers, uh, through any breaks. That's what I did. And I was able to go through school without borrowing any loans. I used completely only my money and a lot of help from uh, financial aid. And so if you come from a lower, lower background, go ahead and definitely apply to financial aid if you are, I think, a US citizen. And then that's gonna definitely help you out a lot, okay? So try not to take out as, as much, uh, only take out as much as you possibly need, okay? And no more than that. Okay, so then when you're finally graduated and you got that job that you worked so hard for, don't go ahead and, sp and spend all this extra money that you're getting now on stupid stuff because that's mainly the thing that uh, college students do quite often is you know you you've you worked so hard in school and you spent so much money and you weren't making any money at the time and then now finally you're making some money not a lot of money but some money and you think you got all the money in the world and so you're gonna go ahead and buy a new car. That's what a lot of students do, that's what a lot of people do. You know, they go ahead and they go on vacation. Um, and what ends up happening is you end up getting deeper and deeper into debt. You end up having to have a lot of monthly bills and payments because you're cracking into maybe credit cards, you're cracking into, um, your, 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 your loans are gonna start popping up again and you're gonna have to pay those back slowly per month now and that's gonna take years, guys. I know people that, pay, that take 10 years after graduating in order to pay that stuff back and that's normal. So go ahead, if you have graduated, to try to pay that back all of the money that you're working, that you're at work, um, you know, obviously pay for the stuff that you need to pay for, but definitely try to pay all of your debt back as soon as possible. I don't care about the interest rate. I don't care about any of that stuff. And the reason is because the longer that you stay in debt, the, the longer you're delaying your chances of building wealth because the debt that you have, you're actually below zero. You know, you are below zero. You are poorer than a homeless person and you're gonna need to pay that back, okay? And if you're gonna have to keep paying back something per month, every single month, it's gonna like, it's a mental thing. You know, you wanna be out, you wanna be at the zero and you wanna start building your net worth from there and just keep keeping your eye on your net worth. Okay guys, so remember this. If you can take anything from this video, try to pay back your student loans as quickly as possible. Get out of that and then start thinking about saving, okay? Um, what Dave Ramsey says, I follow him quite closely, and what he says is always have at least a thousand dollars of emergency funds. Now, honestly, guys, a thousand dollars isn't that much, and and 
I, I personally like to keep about eight thousand dollars as an emergency fund so that gives me you know a lot of time if I accidentally you know get laid off for some reason you know obviously with my skills I'm not gonna get laid off but you never know what's gonna happen right guys and so you want to be prepared for that I tried for eight months and that's about um, uh, eight months meaning that I have money saved for eight months of not working so within that time I will be comfortable I would have put this money aside and 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 if I'm not I'm just gonna keep it there you know like if nothing ever happens it's gonna keep it there for for a rainy day and that's personally what I like to do uh, but a thousand bucks is what Dave Ramsey said if you're first starting off okay all right so when you start accumulating money when you start having money what a lot of people do is they increase their lifestyle you probably heard about this before and it's so true you start thinking oh well maybe I'll just go out to eat a little more and I could buy the new iPhone and I could you know perhaps uh, buy a nicer car with the payments that I pay like you start thinking about this stuff and you don't you don't think about putting away money and putting away money is gonna be super important later on the line when it comes to retirement and I know you guys are probably thinking like holy crap Jimmy I'm only 22 why am I supposed to think about retirement at this moment hear me out the earlier you start I'm telling you the earlier you start the more money you are going to make when you start investing for retirement okay you don't have to understand how to do that just yet just hear me out though just just listen to this strategy okay start just saving your money if you don't know what to do with it just save it because and then later down the line this is what I did later down the line you will start learning this maybe pick up some books maybe watch some YouTube videos you'll learn what to do with this money you'll learn where to put it okay what to buy but for now just stash it away in your savings and 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 don't you know don't think that this money is just money that you can just spend on a big luxurious vacation or something like that because um, once you start turning about I would say maybe if you're early maybe 30 if you are normal anywhere between late 30s to 40 to start thinking about retirement that's usually what most people do and by that time guys it's it's so late that you have lost out on so much money if you just started like 10 years earlier five years early and that's the power of compounding interest is is the more money or the money that you have in something for longer the more it's gonna build you over time it's it's ridiculous you you just don't know you don't need to know all the different numbers if that if that kind of like scares you okay but just know I'm telling you that the earlier you start the better it's gonna be and it's gonna be drastic and you're gonna be kicking yourself in the butt I don't want to overwhelm you guys with information and numbers and stuff like that but I'm just saying the earlier you start the better it's gonna be when you turn 40 when you start to really think about retirement is when you're going to be thinking oh my goodness I should have listened to Jimmy for real guys for real okay so think about money in this way as well and this is some great advice that I've heard um, explained to me so what a lot of people like to do is they think that they're constantly going to keep getting a paycheck right so the typical American pay system is about bi-weekly twice a month uh, or, or every two weeks and so you, this really gets you to keep thinking well if I work another two weeks I'm just gonna make another paycheck if I work another two weeks I'm gonna get another paycheck right and so this makes you want to buy something oh well I'm just gonna I'm just going to uh, get another paycheck later down the line think about money in this way you're only going to make a certain amount of money throughout your whole lifetime until you retire right think about that there's it's gonna be a certain amount out of all the paychecks all of the income that you've ever received from the day you started working that is good there's going to be a number to that so when you are buying something that is splurgy that is kind of something that you don't need think that that number is going to be subtracted down and down and down and down to eventually you're going to have a chunk hopefully it's a big chunk when you retire okay so you don't want to just keep chipping away at that chunk until when the time you retire when you're not gonna have a paycheck anymore to be like okay now what I have zero that I never saved 
think about it that way. You guys see that? Like you're just keep, so if you don't have any saved now and you're not saving any money with the paychecks that are coming in or if it's just like a hundred bucks, 200 bucks or a couple, a couple of thousand bucks, like that's not good enough. You know, you, you have to keep that number intact as much as possible, I would say. That number meaning that accumulated number adding up every single paycheck, every single piece of income that you've ever received. That number, you're gonna keep chipping away at it if you keep spending on stuff that you just don't need. And you know what the big one again, like I said guys, is a car. So imagine if you were gonna make 500,000 your whole entire career, right? You're gonna make 500,000 bucks, just a simple number. If you go ahead and buy two cars throughout your life, you know, and maybe each car was 25,000 bucks, you're literally taking away 50,000 bucks of your $500,000 that you are, that you are safe, that you are making every single time you go into work. You know, like that's a freaking lot of money, guys. I hope I'm not being so long-winded, but I really want to just nail these concepts down into you guys and listen to this video a couple of times because it is super important. Money is really, really important. People are always worrying about retirement. You're always worrying about, you know, like, is, are you gonna have enough? But yet, not a lot of people seek to really, you know, figure out, well, what do I do in order to not, um, in order to not worry about retirement? And before I used to be worried before, and that's just because I just didn't know. It's just because I never opened myself to really studying the topic. But once I did, I feel like I have so much more control about my finances. I, ha I understand where my money is going and it just gives me so much more confidence um, and I know my game plan moving forward, you know, and that's just at the end of the day That's just gonna put me in a better position if I'm just not planning for that because again guys Most people they just don't worry about this stuff. I, I was talking to my a couple of my designer friends and I'm telling them these stuff and a lot of the times they're just saying stuff like uh, Yeah, I'll think about it or I'll do it later and I'll just like dude, you know, that's literally the thing that's not gonna make you do it is if you're just gonna do it later. And the better it is, the earlier you start, the better it's gonna be. So I'm just gonna throw some things out there, guys. I know this video is already kinda long, but I really, uh, I don't even care if this video gets a lot of dislikes because I feel like this topic just needs to be out there, okay? So when you're ready, go ahead and sign up for a Roth IRA. This is gonna be a individual retirement plan and you could go ahead, just Google it. I, I personally go through Vanguard. Uh, Vanguard's a really good company that pretty much uh, allows you to buy a bunch of stocks, buy a bunch of mutual funds and index funds, and they also offer a Roth IRA. And what a Roth IRA is pretty much the money that you make after taxes, okay, after taxes. You use this money to invest and put it away and buy certain things, okay? You don't need to know how to do that now, but I'm just explaining this to you. And when you finally take out that money when you retire, that money is not going to be taxed. So you literally can take out all the money and all of the, and all of the uh, extra income that you've made by investing, you can take all of that out without being taxed. That's super awesome. And this is gonna be something that you don't have to do with a company. You can just go ahead and apply for one right now. Just go online and just go ahead and do it. And so just figure it out. If you don't know, I'm not gonna explain every single word, but just go ahead and search a YouTube video and it'll just talk you through every single topic. I'm just trying to give you guys a very brief overview, some of the things that you should do. Again, so Roth IRA, another one is you guys should try to budget on the weekly. So what I do is I have some Google spreadsheets and I literally just um, write down and I mark how, uh, how much money I'm spending the, the every single thing that I'm buying and spending, I mark it down so that I'm aware of it. Because even if you, a lot of people have different styles of saving, right? I remember when I was younger, my type, my style of savings was, you know, I am making more than I'm spending. That was literally it. And if I really wanted to go a little bit more in the savings, I would just be like, okay, well, I'll try to not to buy anything for this week. I'll try not, you know, be aware of your spendings. Make sure to just be aware, mark down, you know, when you are going to the grocery stores, when you are buying this toy, when you are doing this, when you are doing that, be aware of it. Like, a lot of people are just completely oblivious to how much they're spending. It's, and and by the time you need to, to buy a house, you start just thinking, where am I supposed to get all this money, you know? It's, it's ridiculous, guys. Just make sure that you budget. 
Uh, I do a weekly budget because I think that personally that is a lot easier. Um, doing a monthly budget, that time period is just so long, I forget what I just bought last month, you know. So I just try to do a weekly thing. I try to keep uh, to a certain amount and it's okay that I go over it because um, at least I, I have a goal, you know. At least I know that if I go over it, you know, I'm not doing, I'm doing something wrong or, but I feel like if, if I have that goal and I like just keep going over it, I just I know that maybe I shouldn't do this next time or should I do that. But if you don't have these numbers, if you don't focus, if you don't have a goal, you're just gonna think, oh, I can afford it. Oh, I think I can. Oh, I'm gonna get another paycheck next time. That's the way that you start um, thinking about stuff. All right, guys. All right, it's already been 15 minutes, and this video has been full of information. It's not about industrial design, so. If you guys are around, definitely leave a comment down below and let's just freaking chat about this because I really want to help you guys out. If no one's ever talked to you about finances, you know, here you go. Watch, listen to this video more and let me know down in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and make some more of these videos, but I feel really passionate about this, guys. And no matter how good you get at industrial design, if you just completely suck at finances, you know, your life is just going to be crap. And that's not what in a successful industrial designer is all about. All right, guys. 16 minutes in, you are awesome. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.